想象一个国家、一个年代，上厕所要分肤色，看电影只能坐在特定的位置，公车上、餐厅里，仿佛有一道隐形的墙，清楚区隔同一个空间里不同阶级的人，甚至连车站里的饮水机都用斗大的字标示白人专用和。有色人种，在这样的国家、这样的年代，再想象你是个十八岁正申请大学、寻找美好未来的年轻人，却因为知名的学院都不接受黑人学生进入白人专属学校，而四处碰壁，寄出去的文件石沉大海。深受这种堂而皇之的歧视，目睹如此铺天盖地的不公，这一位十八岁黑人青年当下决定要用他的一辈子赌上所有气力。和全部人生，争取他生而为人应该拥有的尊严、平等和权利。I dream of going to a better school, riding a better bus. I didn't like the fact that my mother and my father, my grandparents, my uncles and aunts didn't have any rights. My mother would say over and over again, "Boy, that's the way it is." She was saying, "You know." Cool it. Be quiet. Don't get in trouble. Well, I was inspired to get in trouble. To get in good trouble. My philosophy is very simple. When you see something that is not right, not fair, yeah. not just, yeah. say something. Yeah. Do something. Get in trouble. Good trouble. Necessary trouble. Sometimes you have to do something out of the ordinary. Sometimes you have to make a way out of no way. We have been too quiet for too long. There comes a time when you have to say something, when you have to make a little noise, when you have to move your feet. Keep marching, keep sitting in, keep standing in, keep protesting until the sagging walls of segregation come tumbling down. And I said to all of the young people, to all of the children, we are getting in good trouble. To set people free, we can do it. If we fail to do it, history will not be kind to us. 他是约翰·路易斯，美国众院连任十七届的乔治亚州第五选区众议员。一个用他口中“好的麻烦”改写了美国民权史，诠释了非暴力运动。以一生的坚持和专注，从当年那一位十八岁黑人愤青蜕变成人权领袖，晋升为华府明代，树立了政治人物的典范，证明了道德与良心仍存在于这个虚伪与恶意充斥的时代。即使在他生命终结之后，仍然留下素习典范、供后人追随敬仰的美国政坛耆老，一支怒吼的人权之师。I don't use the word hero lightly. Congressman John Robert Lewis is a hero. And finally tonight, the legacy and life of John Lewis, the civil rights legend and 17-term congressman from Georgia, passed away late Friday at 80 years old. And it's times like these that we must be reminded of the shoulders that we stand on, the shoulders of giants like John. John Robert Lewis, Dr. King said, are you the boy from Troy? He loved to tell that story. He loved to tell that he preached to the chickens. But his voices were heard by kings and queens. John Robert Lewis, a saint walking on earth. I grew up in rural Alabama, about 10 miles from a little town called Troy. 一九四零年，约翰·路易斯出生在美国，因为农业和蓄奴等历史因缘，仍存在巨大种族鸿沟的南方。从小目睹黑白差异，又受到当时的黑人民权领袖金恩博士讲到的洗礼和感召，路易斯十八岁就主动写信给金恩，获得和这位影响他一生的精神导师会面的机会，从此跃升为一九六零年代美国种族抗争的黑人学生领袖，一位。身先士卒、无意不语的标志性人物。We start sitting in on a regular basis. You'll be sitting there in an orderly, peaceful, non-violent fashion. Someone would come up and spit on us, or put a lighted cigarette out in our hair, pour hot water, hot coffee, and pull us off the stools. We had what we call the do's and don'ts. Of the city movement, if someone push you, don't push back. If someone curse you, do not curse. 
curse. You wanted to project that it was something that the community could rally around and support. White people are cursing, making a lot of noise. These young men and women were just sitting there in an orderly, peaceful fashion. Nonviolence is not the absence of violence. It is the presence of justice. It was the first big story I ever covered. These young people were my heroes. I watched them from that day in February 1960 and thought they were doing something historic. There was something so unshakable to him, so strong, so fearless, so focused, that I thought, oh, he's going to endure. I have a dream. 一九六三年八月二十八号，当金恩博士在林肯纪念堂前高喊“我有一个梦”，当时年仅二十三岁的路易斯不仅就在金恩博士身边，更是当天对着朝华府进军的二十五万游行群众在台上发表激昂演说的主讲者之一。We are tired of being beaten by policemen. We're tired of seeing our people locked up in jail over and over again. And then you holler, be patient. How long can we be patient? We want our freedom, and we want it now. Two years later, he would lead peaceful protesters across the Edmund Pettus Bridge, fighting for the right to vote. They were met with brutal force by state troopers, Lewis bloodied and with a fractured skull. You have to disperse. You are ordered to disperse, go home, or go to your church. They were beaten back with canes and clubs and whips and tear gas and nausea gas. They came toward us, beating us with nightsticks, bull whips, trapping us with horses. This is me here. 这场史称“血腥星期日”的阿拉巴马警方暴力镇压事件，透过电视转播，赤裸呈现在全美观众眼前，仿佛在一瞬间震醒了美国社会长期对种族问题的冷漠和无视，促使当时美国总统林登·强森继1964年民权法案之后，再度于1965年签署通过选举法案，赋予了所有种族、肤色的族群一视同仁的平等参政权。此一重大立法不仅在二十年后将路易斯自身也推上了美国华府政治殿堂。从一九八六年开始连选连任美国联邦众议员，直到他以八十岁高龄辞世为止，总共担任长达三十三年华府国会议员。而且更重要的是，没有路易斯和同期民权领袖的奋斗，很有可能就不会有两千零八年的奥巴马。不会出现黑人总统，也不可能看到今日美国华府年轻少数族裔代表百家争鸣的盛况。但或许最令人百感交集的是，约翰·路易斯辞世的时间点，正好是美国警察对黑人的暴力执法再度挑起种族情绪，掀起一股席卷全球、势不可挡、巨大平权风潮的敏感时刻。历史的演进不仅验证了路易斯生前谆谆告诫的革命。尚未成功，后人仍需努力。同时，在老兵倒下、风范远去的同时，一个时代的终结似乎也隐隐预示了另一阶段族群抗争的开端。He's a simple man of great faith. That's his strength. His strength limits him from being, you know, one of these great charismatic leaders. But one day, people are going to look around and say, "Oh my God." That's one of the great black heroes America has ever produced. Forty years later, John Lewis continues to inspire us. Are you with me? Let me hear you. This is a time for action. That's what I learned from John Lewis. Their forces in America today want to take us back, but we're not going.